First of all, I really enjoyed the movie. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, how did you deconstruct Total Recall and put it back together? What was the start? The start is obviously the you know is the script, which was already fairly deconstructed and worked on and, and given a different a different take on it by uh, by Kurt um, uh, Kurt Wimmer did the, the the first draft, and and then it's it's really just uh, a lot of it was informed by the the fact that the the journey is different, mm -hmm. that we, we don't go to Mars. And so that experience is taken in a completely different direction. Um, so that already has a, had a construction of its own that, that led to a different direction. And then a lot of it, I, I would say, would um, is really about s sticking to a, uh, a tone that I felt was important. And I, I wanted a, a different kind of experience, one that felt, um, you know, the, the original film was of an era that uh, you know, I actually myself watched it as as almost more of an Arnold movie than uh, than even a Philip K. Dick story or even a sci-fi uh, sci-fi themed movie. I watched it more as just an as, as an Arnold film, mm -hmm. um, and so the the tonality I, I think was one of the things that I I was really um, focusing on to uh, to make it to make it a, a different experience as well. Colin Farrell is a very 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 different hero mm -hmm. here. What was the decision to go with someone like him as opposed to go with another big eye or something? I just because I, I you know I had I thought if uh, if you were to try it one to replace Arnold you're an idiot. Um, mm -hmm. There's no I have no intention nor do I want to replace Arnold. Um, and so I really wanted to rather than create who is the next Arnold I wanted to do who is you know the that other version of Quaid yeah. rather and. You know, and, and more to the tone of when I when I read the book, uh, read the short story in college of what kind of picture, what what kind of character, I, I had pictured when when I had read that story, and so that was and I, I wanted um, somebody that we related to possibly a little bit more, a little more grounded of uh, you know an every man that we uh, feel like possibly could be us because so much of the story is about a a wish fulfillment, you know, um, uh, you know, and I wanted that somebody that felt like when they turned into that super spy, it, it felt like there was a change there rather than so much of somebody that, that possibly felt like a super spy from, from the get-go. Now it seems like this is a, would you want to go further with the story? Because obviously nowadays it's all about the sequel, all about can we start a franchise. Is that even a, a possibility here or do you think it's that? It's not a focus. It really is not a focus. It was just, you know, to get the, the you know, the, the best film that this, this could be. and. Um, it, I think it's very rich of an idea to spawn so much of that because it's it's an open-ended uh, idea. It's mm -hmm. a you know Philip K. Dick story. Um, you know a lot of his stories are are are, are open-ended, and I think it's it's such a rich idea for the possibility of, of other um, other ideas for sure. Um, you know, so there's no plan, but I, I do think that there's um, uh, there, there's there's so much there to be tapped into for sure.